looking at the month of January we talked about before, normally we're going to be flat or maybe even a little bearish going into the end of the month as we get ready to go into February. However, we have not really seen that this month and we're going to kind of talk about that on the charts. As we get ready to go into February, what we're going to ask ourselves is that we're going to go on more of a bull run looking for that late February sell off or will people start to take profit because of the type of month we've had in January. So looking at the economic data that's getting ready to drop this week, there's not really a lot coming on this week. ADP employment on Wednesday, Chicago business barometer, also jobless claims on Thursday, U.S. productivity. Then Friday, we're going to get non-farm payrolls, unemployment rate. In my opinion, what's going to move the market this week is going to be earnings. So now rolling into earnings, what are we seeing? Earnings is packed this week, right? It really is. It's a very, very robust earnings week. Definitely going to be looking at UPS on Tuesday because of the bad earnings on FedEx late last month. Also going to be looking at Microsoft, AMD, Alphabet, Starbucks, Tuesday after close. We know Microsoft most definitely is going to be talking about anything they have going on in AI. AMD is going to be important. Also Alphabet. What is the ad revenue looking like? Also going to be looking at things like Marathon, MSCI, Wednesday before open, Boeing. I'm going to be looking at NVO. They had a really strong run late Friday before close. They may keep running this week. Phillips 66, MasterCard, all the oil companies getting ready to report this week. Thursday after close, everybody's going to be looking at Amazon, Apple, and Meta. And so this is going to kind of set the tone. The tech companies reporting this week, in my opinion, will set the tone for how people really perceive the quarter. And then also with uh, NVIDIA leading up a little bit later, if NVIDIA was reporting this week, then we could kind of wrap up the quarter just this week. But NVIDIA is going to report a little bit later in the earnings season. So they're going to kind of add into it. Now looking at the SPY, what are we seeing? We're at all-time highs, and we're moving very, very strong off that resistance level. We have got some selling during the week, but we just continue to keep moving up. And what I believe is showing, based on my opinion, is that the market is anticipating a really, really good earnings week. Okay, and this is going to be on the SPY. Looking at the Qs, you're seeing the exact same thing, even though we did see some selling late last week. Really, really strong move off that resistance level. We're back at all-time highs. We did see some selling late. Therefore, let's see how we report earnings. But I also still believe that people are anticipating a really, really strong earnings or a earnings that's not going to be disappointing with really good guidance going into the future. We know now that people can just talk about whatever kind of AI solutions that they have in tech. And the market's going to be very bullish on that because that's been the narrative over the past year. What I'm going to be looking for this week is how does tech report and how do they got out? Also, though, how does energy report and how do they got out? And I think those are going to be really, really important to kind of determine where we think we're going into 2024. Hope you got some value from it. David W. Williams, talk to you later.